guys, we just found one. Take a look. Oh! <laughs> look at that. Look at his chubby little arms there. Look at that. Super cool. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today we're looking for a really cool reptile, one that we have not featured on the channel yet, a lovely species that comes in quite the small package. Today, we're looking for musk turtles. As an adult, these turtles are about four to six inches long. They're quite secretive, and the best time to find them, really and truly, is at night in these shallow kind of flooded forests. So join me, hopefully we can find one, hopefully we get some cool footage, and hopefully, we don't come away disappointed. So let's go. All right, guys, check out this beautiful juvenile diamondback water snake or Nerodia rhombifer. Cute little guy. Now these grow up to be one of the largest water snakes we have here in Texas. I've seen adults over six feet long, <laughs> pushing seven feet. Look at that goofy little face. He's all writhing around trying to get me to let him go. Maybe trying to find a place to bite me. Pretty quick to bite to defend themselves. But I don't mind catching the babies. It's not too terribly bad. Cute little baby snake. Nice little species. Diamondback water snake, Nerodia rhombifer. Cute, cute little snake. He's just a baby. He could have just been born a few months ago feeding on minnows and tadpoles and little frogs. This is a perfect area for them, the same area that we're looking for these musk turtles in. Cool. All right, we're gonna let this little guy get on his way. Check out how good these are in an aquatic setting. Look, there you go, swim away. Or hold on to me, look at that. Super cool. Oh, here comes one right here actually. Check out these gar guys. Oh, wow, look how many. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, oh. <laughs> better luck next time. Great job. Oh my gosh. Guys, we just found one. Take a look. Take a look right here, guys. Exactly what I've been searching for. What appears to be a little common musk turtle. Wow, look at this little guy. Now, surprisingly, this is adult size. Uh, these are one of North America's smallest turtles and among some of the smallest adult sized turtles in the world. Take a look at that. Now you can see he's actually got a bit of a hinged plastron here, just like a box turtle. He can really kind of close that up in order to better protect himself. Wow, now we've been searching around looking for musk turtles and I can't believe this one was just hanging out right in front of me. We had no luck finding them during the day, but nighttime, pretty good time to be a musk turtle. You're small, you're a lot easier for predators to eat, so it's a lot nicer when you decrease the amount of predators that can find and eat you when you come out at night. But take a look at this little turtle. That is super cool. Look at his little face. Look at that. Look at his chubby little arms there. Now, many species are capable of exuding a milky musk when they feel threatened. And that's where they get that name, musk turtle. <laughs> Isaiah. Isaiah. You good? Water. Water. Come on, Isaiah, join in the fun. Look at this turtle. Yeah, I'm looking at the turtle. Pretty cool, right? It's a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Isaiah is unenthused by our oh. really cool musk turtle find. He's now, the these... critical judge. <laughs> yeah. Now, these turtles are primarily carnivorous, so what they're doing is they're feeding on minnows and tadpoles and different types of aquatic invertebrates. So they use this powerful beak. I don't want them to bite me, but they use this powerful beak to kind of break through snail shells and crayfish shells uh, in order to get into the gooey and nutritious center in the middle. 
How cool is that? It's always a treat to see something other than red-eared sliders in my area and snapping turtles, I guess, because that seems to be the only thing I can find right now. But this musk turtle is a welcome addition to our turtle species that we have found. <laughs> That's so cool. Look at that little guy. Now, once again, adult size. Look at that. You would not think that this is an adult turtle. You would think a baby. This is smaller than all the species of box turtles. So it's quite impressive that these compact little turtles can do so well. But if you take up a lot less food, a lot less space, you can really do exceptionally well in these really shallow kind of flooded forest ecosystems. Look at the underside of that. Look at his little bottom. You can see that plastron moves. Now this one's nice and fat and happy. You can see all this fat rolls kind of hanging out of that plastron there. He's been getting a lot to eat. He looks good. He looks healthy. I don't see any turtle leeches. I don't see any missing toes. He's having a great life out here. You can tell by his shell, it's nice and weathered. This is an older individual. This, this animal could be anywhere from five to 15 or 20 plus years old. Even though these are small, they still have an impressive turtle lifespan. Wow, that is so cool. Well, oh, no, 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 no. No. Well, we had a great time filming with this super cool little common musk turtle. Come in and check out this little goodbye. Really cool adult common musk turtle. There we go. You're home, little buddy. <laughs> Too frightened. I'll just set it down right there. We'll let it swim off on its own. Really, really cool. A shy turtle, but a cool turtle nonetheless. There he goes. No wonder we don't find him. He's disappeared, he's vanished. Really cool. Oh, check this out, guys. Looks like a little uh, warmouth, lapamas, little sunfish. Oh, my reflexes have failed me. All right, cool.